Bingo. Sandwiches, to me, are the perfect meal. You got your starch, the bread, your meats, whatever sliced meats you're throwing in there, and your cheeses, maybe a sauce. It's the perfect meal, as far as I'm concerned. And this sandwich is trending right now, so I figured I'd give it a shot. It's a chopped or sliced sandwich. The ingredients are basically the same. You're just chopping them up, tossing them in a sauce, and then slapping them into a roll. So I figured we'd give that a shot, and we're gonna go with the Italian form here. So we have some ham off the bone, some provolone, some gabagol, and some Genoa salami, or as most people call it, Genoa. Genoa salami. Genoa. Genoa, Genoa salami? I know there. a salami. How you doing, bud? Good. You good? I'm good. Okay, that's, <laughs> that, that's Barry. And that's my fire alarm. Oh boy. Well, since my fire alarm told me that my broiler was ready, because what I plan on doing is toasting the bread up a little bit, let's just start on the bread. And already I'm, I'm struggling Good with start. a twist tie. Good start, huh? This is everything bread. It's like the everything bagel, but it's not a bagel. Make sense? I work at a grocery store. We have a bakery. This is from my bakery, Farm Fresh. So let's get this opened up. Let's go a little bit smaller here today. We're not gonna... Now, sandwich technique is important. With this, because this is gonna be kind of sloppy, what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave it like this. So we're gonna plop this in to get toasty, and hopefully we remember it in there, you know, because <laughs> Lord knows I'll forget. The alarm will remind us again. So while that's going, I'm gonna get my meats ready. Again, to review, ham off the bone, we have some gabagool, some capicola, some Genoa salami, and some provolone. Keeping it really simple, that's almost everybody's version of the Italian sub. So we'll get this chopped up, and we'll put four pieces in there, right? Get that rolled up. A bowl for that. You can use whatever ham you want. You can use whatever meats you want. I chose to do an Italian. I think a club sandwich would be amazing in this. Nice little thin strips. Let's get the capicola and the Genoa salami sliced up nice and thin. So you're doing strips? I'm doing strips. Okay. You could probably, you know, chop it up as, into cube forms if you want. A lot of the recipes I saw online would cut everything together, but I don't know, I'm not hip to that. I think it's better if you cut everything separately and then add them, again, because after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a dressing. Well, you do you. Yeah, right? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do myself. This is T-Rex style, okay? Little eh, let's do a little bit more. You got a problem with that? Right yeah. then? Yeah, yeah. What, do you wanna fight about it? Huh? A little more cheese in there. Nice provolone. All right, meats, those are done. All right, let's talk about our veggies. Um, got your standard pepperoncinis that are cut up here. We have some black olives. Um, this is just, these are so good. I'm going to have this with it. And I've also decided on a little bit of roasted red peppers in there. All right. These are pretty much chopped up all the way. So that's already cut up. So we're just going to be adding that. All right, going in. Roasted red peppers. Going right in. I'm not gonna give you measurements on this. This is here for color, it's for flavor. You, you, you choose whatever your heart tells you to do as far as the roasted red peppers go. I know it gives some of you the agita. All the Italians watching this, they know what agita is, it's heartburn. Okay, so olives. If you wanna use green olives, use green olives. I don't care. You wanna make it your own. It's your sandwich. It's your sandwich. But look at how beautiful that looks right now. Give these a chop and then I'll see you in five hours. Into, there. 
This is the best mayonnaise I've ever had in my life. I don't have the label on here because it came off. There was more plastic around it, which I do have an issue with. Duke's mayonnaise is amazing, but you use whatever mayonnaise you like. <laughs> We're gonna go 50-50 regular mayonnaise, and then I'm using a whip dressing for a little bit of sweetness in there. Because I do like the contrast of having the sweetness and the savory together. You know, again, a little bit for my cutting board, because you know, over. just gotta get it everywhere. That's how good I am. That goes in. Over here, some garlic powder, some dried basil. Yes, you can use dried herbs, it's okay. And then we have some onion powder and some cracked black pepper. All that's going in. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper. Now I wanna give it just a little bit more bite. So I'm going to be adding this right here. White balsamic, if you don't have this, definitely worth it. A little bit of a glug right there, just to give it a little bit of a, a bite. Now this might be not enough liquid, so you're, you might have to adjust later. You can always, it's just like a haircut. You can always take more off, you can't add it back. Yes, I know the irony of me saying something <laughs> about a haircut. So we have that mixed up. I'm going to be adding lettuce, and I felt a little bougie today. I know my normal is iceberg, but I've decided to go with some parts of romaine. Got a little fancy, foxy. We're gonna mix this up, then add that lettuce because you don't want soggy lettuce, right? No, no. no. Okay. Poll. Do you like the darker green or do you like the lighter green? I prefer the lighter green in my salads. Are you a lighter green or are you yeah. right in the middle there? All right, we'll give this one more. All right, one last addition, a little bit of red onion. You can use white onion, you can use sweet onion. I feel that I need to add the liquid to this and then add this at the end because I don't want this getting soggy. And they haven't done construction outside my window in, I don't know, eight months, but today, today, they decided to do some construction outside. I know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right. All right, let's get this tossed up. Now, to me, this is gonna be plenty. See that? See that? Look at that. All right, let's assemble. Assemble. A little bit of provolone. Okay, this is gonna get soggy because of all the nice sauce on there, so let's give ourselves a layer of protection by putting our cheese down first. Our lettuce is going in right now. Of course, you gotta have some good extra virgin olive oil going in there. Let's give that lettuce a little bit of flavor because it doesn't come seasoned. Do a little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper on that. This up. This might not be for all of you. It's that's okay though. I liked it. And guess what? If anything else, you've got a salad. Let's get some tomatoes on here. Again, I didn't want to chop these up. It just I think it becomes way too messy. Get these little guys in here. We'll tuck them down there so they stay there. They don't come seasoned, Barry. They don't come seasoned. It's good. It's good. It's good. If any of you know who this guy is right here, my buddy Greg knows. All right. Get that in there. Now 
and the peace. The resistance is just, if you don't know what this is, this is balsamic glaze, and this is from the Lord's above. Just gonna add a nice little pop. A little nectar of the gods. A little nectar of the gods. Put that down. Just a scimmage, a little more there. All right, you stay in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this to the plate, Barry. Yeah. All right, I'll admit, just it doesn't look too pretty, but with all the ingredients in there and everything that. Uh, is around it, it tastes really good. That is really good, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you why, okay? It is a little bit messy at first, but you can maneuver that around. A wrap would, would, be, would be very good for this, but immediately I got all that garlic, the sesame seed, the onion from the, the roll, Nice and toasty is next because we toasted it, but get all those meats and cheeses. There's a little bit of sweetness from the Miracle Whip that I use. There's a bite from the balsamic, both of them, the balsamic reduction, the white balsamic. You have your vegetables in there, giving a little bit of life as far as freshness goes. Folks, you gotta try this sandwich. It's trendy now. And speaking of trending, become a member on Facebook, become a member on YouTube. We're also on Instagram. Give us a like, give us a share. All that stuff helps us out. My name is Andy. With me, as always, behind the camera, doing all of the hard work, is Mr. Barry. Folks, join us again for another episode. Check us out again on YouTube. Nothing YouTube, nothing. YouTube's helping us out now. So if you go over to YouTube, if you haven't subscribed to us, it would greatly help us. You know what? All the likes help, all the subscribes help, all the shares help. Folks, have a great day. I'm gonna enjoy my sandwich with my hot and spicy chips. Again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these guys, Bellevue brand is the best for hot and spicy. Sweet and spicy. I can't even read the label. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Barry, you wanna try some? I do. You wanna want try some of this? Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm gonna take a bite. Bye folks, you have a great day. And with the meats all together like yeah. that? Yeah. You don't have to worry about it sliding around and yeah. only get a bite of ham. I would definitely leave it hinged like that. Again, a wrap would, would be Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.